Hey guys, Pat here, and today I want to answer the question Ultra Wide or 4K for gaming today, 2016? What one is best? Well, first of all, I guess it all depends on what you want to achieve or what you want to do and how much money you have to spend on your rig. But if we skip all that and we just talk about the differences between 4K and Ultra Wide, and that is what I'm going to try and answer here. Which one is better? Which one is better today? So first off, 4K, you're going to be running higher resolutions. And at the moment, there really isn't a good graphics card in a reasonable price range that can run high refresh rates at 4K. So if you are gaming some fast-paced gaming, you're going to have to look for that balance. And if you don't have a huge rig, 4K resolutions are going to be very hard to run. So that is, at the moment, 2016, a bit of a dilemma. Do you get high resolution and low refresh rates, or you do you get something else? And that is where the ultra-wide comes in, and this is where I have to give the ultra-wide a point. With 3440 by 1440p, you're running a little bit less pixels than a 4K monitor. So a lot less pixels means your computer will not have to be as powerful to run those 4K. Instead, with ultra-wide, you'll still be getting that nice IPS quality uh, that you can get with some ultra-wides at a lesser cost to your performance. So you're going to be playing games at a lower resolution, hitting higher frames without having to trouble yourself to get a ridiculous SLI setup to play at 4K. Obviously, the resolution will be a little bit less, and to be honest, it isn't quite noticeable unless you put them side by side, and then you're sort of just going by the resolution. And most 4K monitors are 60 frames. Some can hit 75, but now we've got ultra-wides that it can go 75 to 100 to even 144 with Aces monitor, which is a little bit less in the resolution area, but can hit those higher frames. And this is what I'm getting at. We have to give up resolution for higher frames. And that is the problem at the moment. We do not have enough hardware, not good enough hardware, to really hit high refresh rates at high resolutions. The other thing you have to decide between ultra-wide and 4K is the aspect ratio. One of the best things with using an ultra-wide is having a wide field of view in a game. With racing games, it's really cool. With RPG games, it's amazing to see a much better scale of the surrounding area that your character is usually in the middle. It's nicer to have a wide view. For example, Witcher 3 is beautiful when it comes to playing on a widescreen. On a 4K, it's much sta more standard, 16 by 9. The other thing is movies. Movies are generally made with 21 by 9 aspect ratios and then the black bars are added on top and bottom. So guys, watching a movie on a monitor that's ultra wide is an absolute experience while on a 4K monitor, a 4K movie, Blu-ray movie looks absolutely stunning, but you've got those black bars on top and bottom and it doesn't look as cinematic and I'm not using the cinematic in the sense of 30 frames, I'm using it in a way of sitting at a cinema and having a whole field of view covering your eyes or your field of view, a whole monitor covering your field of view. Now I'm gonna mention the price, but really price-wise, there's ultra-wides and 4K monitors in the same price ranges. Uh, 4K monitors can be a bit cheaper, can be more expensive if you add things like G-Sync or FreeSync. Productivity-wise, the 4K monitor is great for professional use, and you can see a review of this LG monitor right here if you wanna have a a uh, look at what I thought about just that monitor, but it is great for professionals and people who really want to see detail in their editing. But with the ultra wide, I found that my productivity was a lot better. I could split screen uh, websites and I could put my Premiere Pro out on the whole screen and lay out that timeline with a width rather than height because in Premiere Pro, if some of you may know, it's better to have a wider screen and some people use two screens. Friends, I think at the moment ultra wides are just coming into popularity when 4K gaming isn't quite there yet. Some of you might think then 4K will get there sooner or later and then the ultra wides will be forgotten, but I don't think so. I think the next future is going to be more ultra wide 4K monitors at 60 frames and then ultra wide 1440p monitors with high refresh rates because get most games now support 21 by 9 and that is becoming a very big standard now to have support in your games so all the games did not have support for 16 by 9 or 21 by 9 but 
Now, most games have 21 by 9 support. It is becoming a good, useful standard. So what should you get? If you want to have a cool experience, the ultra wide is probably for you. You're going to get the same exact experience in game at a wider screen and even get more productivity. If you feel like you're going to be doing a bit more design work and gaming, a 4K monitor could do you really well. Or if you want to skip both of them and go down in price, you can get a high refresh rate IPS monitor at a 27 inch size, the 16 by 9 and skip all these jokers right here. In conclusion, what I think is a better gaming experience is definitely the ultra wide. And I'm not even talking about the specs and the extras companies add to make a gaming experience better. I just think from the design of the 21 by nine aspect ratio, games look really, really nice. And now that most games support it, it is a very good experience. You don't have to fiddle around with settings or configs to get the game right. Playing at 4K, however, gives you more details in game and you can reduce some of those AA effects with the jagged lines and really get nice, crisp gaming experience. However, running 4K resolutions can really put a strain on your system and at the moment, the hardware is not there. And I really want to do a follow-up uh, video like this and really see if next year, next time, uh, the next set of GPUs come from Nvidia and AMD, we can run games at 4K, 60 or 144 hertz and really, really bask in the glory of both high refresh rates and 4K. But at the moment, ultra wide is what I believe gaming is perfect on at the moment. Uh, in the future, could change, but I still believe that ultra wide is going to keep getting better and better. And 16 by 9 is going to get left behind, and 21 by 9 aspect ratio is going to be a gaming standard very soon. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a share if you liked it. The thumb down button is down there too. Let me know why. And I'll see you in another video.